The conversation surrounding Boston Celtics head coach Emi Udoka continues to get more and more wild as more things start to finally leak out, more reports that are validated, more rumors that are confirmed, and it looks like things are more crazy than anyone could have possibly imagined. Emi Udoka was suspended a year by the Boston Celtics for an inappropriate relationship that he had with another member of the Celtics organization. A lot of people saw that and said, wow, a year for something like that? That seems a little excessive. Not that maybe there's shouldn't be some sort of punishment, but an entire year suspension, things must be pretty deep. And sure enough, a lot of people started coming out and saying, you have no idea how deep this really is. Well, the latest insanity to come out of this is the report that a Boston Celtics player may have been one of the people that snitched on Ime Udoka and a starter at that. Boston Celtics starter snitched on Ime Udoka's alleged relationship with Kathleen Nemo Lynch per Nia Long's camp. Now, once again, the Celtics have not confirmed the name of the woman that's involved. There's even potential that there's more than one person involved. But Nia Long is the actress who's Ime Udoka's fiance, who got completely and totally blindsided by all of this. That is apparently where these reports are coming from. Which Boston Celtics player snitched on Ime Udoka? We don't know yet, but apparently he's a starter per Nia Long's camp. That certainly narrows it down, doesn't it? Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, I guess maybe Al Horford, maybe Robert Williams, Marcus Smart, I guess. Like, these are the names that you could throw around that you could be like, that's a Boston Celtics starter. Man, what if this is Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown or something like that that snitched on Ime Udoka about what was going down. By the sheer amount of chaotic news that's leaking out of the Boston Celtics camp does not seem to stop. This time, we learned that a player snitched on Ime Udoka. As per insider sources in Nia Long's camp, the story goes that the Celtics staff and players were well aware of the affair for months. While the affair was said to have been consensual, the Celtics suspending him means there's more than meets the eye. And that does line up with other things we've heard. You know, the article had up earlier... The, the reason this investigation was launched was because the woman made complaints about some unwanted comments that Emi Udoka made to her after the fact. Maybe this was after they were together. Maybe it was after they were already done, a bad breakup, who knows? And the Celtics thought originally this was some kind of consensual relationship. They did some more digging. Things got very bad and they suspended him for a year. So now everyone's left to sit here and pick up the pieces and try to figure out what exactly went down. So why did a consensual affair get this much backlash? Well, it's due to the fact that Ime has been accused of many more things. This was just the tip of the iceberg. And to top it all off, there's now fresh news that a Boston Celtics player, allegedly a starter, was the cause of the mayhem. He went and snitched about Udoka to the front office after feeling jealous of the head coach. There are rumors the alleged affair was with Kathleen Nemo Lynch, who's the wife of Celtics vice president Patrick Lynch. So why would a player be jealous? Was, was he hitting it too? That's, I mean, that, that's legitimately, you have to consider all possibilities at this point. Was that something that could have happened? Did he may come in and kind of take what he wanted? I, I don't know. Anything, anything is a possibility at this point with the way that we have seen them react to all of this. And this is obviously the apology that Emi Udoka put out there. I want to apologize to our players, fans, and the entire Celtics organization and my family for letting them down. He accepted this suspension. Now, is there any way Emi Udoka comes back and coaches the Celtics next year after all of this stuff? I guess maybe. I personally feel like he's probably done with the Celtics organization. If it was this bad, they suspended him for a year. If there's that little faith and trust potentially between him and the executives and everyone in that building then I don't know if Ime Udoka comes back. But the idea that a player and a starter at that may have snitched on Ime Udoka coming coming from the camp of Ime Udoka's fiancé, or maybe soon-to-be ex-fiancé, only time will tell. This is nuts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.